Hey guys, it's Drew here. Uh, today we've got a uh, floodlight, and it's one of these sensor floodlights. They drive me crazy because you never know how to turn them on with the switch. It's like some code on the up, up, down. I don't know. <laughs> it's up, down for four seconds. Anyway, so uh, this switch, this sensor, uh, has become a little bit warped with uh, sunlight, so it's not working anymore. It's not coming on and off when I want it to. So I've decided just to go back to a regular floodlight. Now a regular floodlight's about uh, you can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's for about nine bucks, nine or ten bucks, just a floodlight with no sensor on them. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to bypass the sensor. Now, first of all, if you're going to do any electrical work of any kind, it is dangerous. So please know safety procedures or just call an electrician. Um, you can get a nasty shock. You don't usually die from being shocked from household electricity, but what happens is you you're shocked to the point where you fall down or hit your head and then you die from, you know, concussions. Um, this is a uh, electrical tester. This will tell you if you have live current or not and it beeps and a light goes off if it's live. So you test it while it's on and test it when it's off for safety procedures. Okay, so moving on. I've already removed the light. Um, you know, your obvious red and black wires here. Although in, in this one, your hot uh, is red and white. Usually, I'm sorry, usually the wires are white and black like this, but uh, this one has red for the hot and white for the neutral. Okay, so uh, these had a third lead that went into this, and uh, basically what I did was I just cut these off. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut off these caps and tie those together, and then just plug in the red wire into the black wire of my house and the white wire into the uh, white wire of my house. and then hook up the ground. Your green screw is your ground. Um, so that's basically it. So that'll just make this into a regular floodlight. And uh, that way I don't have to go buy a new one, which will be great. Um, I've also got these LED uh, floodlight bulbs, which are great. They only take 14 watts for a 120 watt light bulb. So that was really good. Okay guys, well like I said, if you're gonna do electrical, it's good to do it with somebody else. Also be, you know, be safe about it. Um, make sure you test and turn off your breaker. Don't turn off the switch, turn off your breaker. Um, and just, just be you know, safe about it. Um, or call an electrician. Um, as I said, I don't recommend doing electrical work yourself unless you know how electricity works and how dangerous it can be if you don't know how it works and how to test, so. All right guys, this is Drew. Subscribe if this video helped you out. Have a good one. Thanks.